Hi, I'm Raven. In this video, we're going to be looking at saving, opening, and sharing your patterns. In the last video, we created this Penrose triangle, but that's no good. The second you close your browser, you're going to lose the design, which means you won't be able to refer to it later when you're weaving it, or if you wish to continue working and modifying the design. On the left-hand side, click the floppy disk to save your pattern. There are four fields here for you to fill in. The title has to be unique. But don't worry, if you enter a title that someone else has used, it'll tell you. Let's go ahead and call this Penrose Triangle. When choosing your author name, I suggest that you use a pen name, or perhaps a nickname or online handle, that will allow you and others to identify yourself. Anyone can use the same author name. I'll go ahead and use shorthand for Raven. For the editing password, I suggest you make something up specifically for this scale mail generator. Whilst the site is secured with SSL, I would not suggest using your highly secure bank or computer password to protect your scare mail designs. The password is used to protect your pattern from unauthorized edits. For example, if someone opens your pattern in the gallery, if they make a modification, they won't be able to save it under your title unless they know the password. If you forget your password, you'll have to contact us to get it reset. Let's go ahead and enter a password now. The final field is whether or not you wish it to appear in the gallery. By default, the show in gallery box is ticked, meaning that everyone can see your creation, open it, and maybe even modify it for themselves. If you wish to keep your design private, uncheck Show in Gallery. You'll only be able to find your pattern if you search for the exact title, so make sure you don't forget it. I'm going to go ahead and leave it ticked. I'll click Save. The design has been saved. If we go now to the folder and open up the gallery, you can see every design that's been submitted by other people. And here we are, there's our Penrose Triangle. In the gallery, you can search for designs by title, by author, the number of scales in the design, and then you can sort it by title, author, and age. As mentioned previously, if your design was kept private, you'd need to type in the exact name. For example, if you had a picture of your face, and you didn't want anyone to be able to find it, if you type in Raven Face, maybe you'll find something fun. Click on a design, and it'll load it straight into the editor for you to continue working. If you're modifying a design, simply click Save again, enter your editing password, and it'll update your save. Once you're happy with your design, and you want to share it to the world, whether it's private or not, press the Share Pattern button, and you'll be able to share your pattern via a direct URL, Facebook, Google+, Pinterest, Reddit, and Twitter. In the next video, we'll be talking about the features that I want to implement and the future of the Inlay Designer.